The most important thing, I guess, is in soil preparation. So if you are planting new garden beds, make sure you do incorporate compost and manures and the like, so you've actually got more water holding ability actually in the soil itself. Uh, and if you've got one of the really dry soils, consider using one of these soil weather type products because they really do help. But of course, number one thing is mulching. So as always, make sure you use a good quality mulch. Um, put on, a, on around about 50 mils, 75 mils thick, and that's probably the best thing you can do is to get in there and mulch the gardens. I think that if we are using water, any kind of water, we need to be do watering effectively from the plant's point of view, which means getting the water down deep into the soil profile. So one of the big mistakes in gardening is to water a little bit often. So you really don't want the water going in that far because that just encourages surface reading. What you want is the water going in this far, around about 250 mils or thereabouts. So if you are going to water, water nice and deeply and then leave it for, for weeks because at this time of the year, a good soaking every couple of weeks is more than enough. One thing, if you do have mulch on the garden already um, and it's been sitting there for a while, it may well have become fairly compacted. So it's not a bad idea to get out with something like a rake or whatever and just scratch up the mulch a little bit. So if we do get a shower of rain, the rain actually can, can get through the mulch because after a while mulches do tend to pack down and that can become a real problem and end up being basically a barrier between a little shower of rain and the soil itself. <laughs>